damage control. <laughs> got some long legs, so we're just going to talk about getting into the knee shield. So the first thing is, just stay there, so yeah, the first thing is, is getting this hook in and planting it. If I don't have this, then I don't have anything, okay? I'm not going to worry about trying to bring the other leg up. But I'm going to bring this in, shrimp in, and then my knee comes right up here, okay? So Ryan's obviously going to lean down, okay? So this is shielding his energy from coming forward, okay? So this knee is at an angle, so I really get some benefit you know, of that um, shielding, okay? And then so my foot is not just hanging out over here, it's flexed, okay? So it's right against his rib cage here, okay? So this is gonna keep him from possibly coming this way, or I can just pull here and kind of push there and knock him off balance, okay? So, so, so what we'll do, we'll start out here on our backs, we'll bring one leg in, bring ourselves in, knee shield, okay? Bring this hand in, knee shield. So usually these, you know, this hand's gonna come around and try and grab your head, so, so yeah, for, yeah, for the drill, we're going to frame against that force. Okay, so framing, just using your elbows, your um, arm and your, you know, kind of your bicep and arm at a, at a 90 degree angle, stopping whatever's coming forward. Okay, so we'll frame there, come back out. Okay. Remember, this is the, the most important part that allows me to shrimp in, and then I frame. Okay. Let's go back and forth with our partners. Remember, clenching right here is very, very important. Okay? Let's go ahead and try that, guys. Pass forward, and you know why is that? It's because my leg is uh, in the equation here. Okay, so he cannot come forward. I'm, you know, I'll be pushing against him. So he can either, you know, push it over to the side, or he can start breaking it down with the arm weave. Just stick your arm. Yeah, yeah. You know, breaking it down there. Okay, so we gotta sort of work fast. So usually whenever you're here, he, he's going to push it to the side. As soon as it goes to the side, I'm going to get the underhook and then I'm going to try and my legs back here. Okay? So now I can use these two things. I, I can use this leg to push him forward. Okay? And then, you know, I mean, with the underhook here. Okay? So you can see how that will uh, push him forward. And then just a real easy sweep is just I push him forward and then grab this leg. So now his knees are off the mat along with his hips. So I have control. Okay. So, so that's what you, you know, that's what you can do from here, okay? But usually, okay, what's gonna happen is you gotta go push and I'll try and shoot this underhook. Yeah, if he's smart, I mean he's either gonna swim the underhook or he's gonna sit back for the Kimura. Okay? So I go in right. Yeah. Reach over, Kimura. Okay, so I'm in trouble now. Okay, so this hand, you want to cup your leg here. Okay, so I don't want to be on my side. Just like Charlie was showing. Okay, when the guy was saying uncle, he was on his side. Okay, so my first battle now is trapping that arm, just, or the hand, grabbing the thigh, and then I want to get flat. Okay, so you see how the shoulder dies when I got flat? Okay, so go, yeah, go back. So I'm here, so as I'm going flat, I'm sinking this hook in. Okay. So now I have an elevator hook. Sink it in. A flat elevator hook. Okay. Now, now this, now this foot just goes straight to the ceiling. I launch him over, and then look, I'm right here for the Kimura. So this knee has to slide in. Okay. This leg goes over. Okay. Right into the arm lock. So, let's just work on the actual sweep, and then we'll get that submission. So there, knee shield, underhook, grab my thigh, I go flat, I have this elevator hook, okay, so now he, he did have new cohort, now I have new cohort. Okay, so. Let's just try to sweep first, guys. One, two, three. 